What is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Get Real Vlogs where being controversial is my only talent. I have got to meet a lot of famous people in my life such as Ric Flair, Donald Trump, and Josh Ramsey but one of the coolest people that I got to meet was NFL MVP kicker Mark Mosley from the Washington Redskins, now the Washington football team. And I'm going to show you guys my experience with him. Let's try that again. If you guys watch my videos, then you guys know that every year I volunteer at a camp called Camp Patty Run. And this year we had the opportunity for Mark Mosley to come and speak to us on our last night of camp. If you don't know who Mark Mosley is, he was an NFL kicker who won the Super Bowl in 1982 with the Washington Redskins. He is also one of the owners of Five Guys Burgers and Fries, and that place is amazing. It's really good. So without further ado, let me show you guys the opportunity that me and all the other campers and staff got to have meeting and hanging out with Mark Mosley. Thank you for that introduction. That's, I forget sometimes. I've been retired so long I forget I was a football player. <laughs> <laughs> but it is nice. And I apologize for kind of making y'all change the schedule a little bit. I came down with something. I traveled down to Florida to visit my uh, two of my, my daughters. And uh, I have 15 grandkids and one great-grandson. So I've been around a lot and I'm very familiar with kids. I uh, keep the three of the youngest. I take care of them a lot. smaller grandkids and then my one of my granddaughters that goes to uh, legacy a couple of uh, wars and uh, you know I went through the Vietnam War and, and a couple of others that we've had over the years but nothing like this um, and so it's been it's been scary even for us adults it's been scary but I wanted to share with you one thing in Romans are not Romans in Jeremiah 29 11, and probably many of you know this but this is my favorite verse of all time but it says for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an accepted end. Now what does that tell you? That's a guarantee right there. Isn't it? That God's in control and he's taking care of all of us. Amen. So there's really no reason for us to really worry about it. If you know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, we're there. Amen. You know, we're already in the we're already in the book of life. Mm -hmm. We're there. That's right. And and it's 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 such a great feeling to know that we have somebody that loves us the way God loves us and the way Jesus Christ was willing to, to uh, allow them to crucify him on the cross so that our sins would be forgiven. And that someday, you know, the thing is that God still loved me. Mm -hmm. the reporters didn't like to, to say that when mm -hmm. I would talk to them they would ask me that. They really didn't like that up there in my town all the day. They don't they don't write anything that's positive. They just wanna wanna keep things on a on a negative tone. But for me Knowing the Lord has always been the strength that, that gave me the things that I've done and been able to accomplish in my life. Uh, they said that uh, they were telling me that I was the founder of Five Guys Burgers. Uh, Twenty years ago, I went to the Morrell family who had four Five Guys here in the, the, the D.C. area. And uh, they were struggling a little bit with their stores. And I said, you know, I could help you with this. I, I had my own hamburger place in Herndon called Mosley Burgers that I was going to develop my hand and says, let's do this. Let's make this work and have fun while we're doing it. Mm -hmm. Now, that was 20 years ago. I'm still working on that handshake. <laughs> but that is what God does. Yeah. When one door closes, another one opens. Right. If you truly believe. Yes. But you've got to truly believe that God is in control. Yes. That's why I'm saying today with all the worries and all the, the, the things that are going on around us today that make us feel so insecure, we have to have that that faith that God is always there. And he is, I can promise you. You may not think he is because we don't see him. We can, it's not a, a physical thing. We don't, we're not able to reach out and touch him. But even with that, personally, I can promise you that God is real. <laughs> yeah, the, Cowboys, the Redskins Cowboy game was always a big rival game every year. And because I'm from Texas, I always had my friends in, I'll tell you a quick story. Yeah! Go Cowboys! Woo! Back when I was playing, I, I, uh, I was a backup quarterback for the team, too. I played quarterback through college. And 
And so when I came to Washington, Coach Allen made me the third team quarterback because that way you wouldn't have to carry a third team quarterback. So he got by cheap by paying me a, a little bit of money, and he got two two for one there. But anyway, I, I used to go back and I'd call back and I'd brag about getting to play quarterback because I did. I ran I ran the, the plays against our defense every day in practice, and then I had my own plays. I had ten plays. I had five running plays and five passing plays in case things got really bad. And I might have to go in and take a snap. They wanted to make sure at least I could take the snap and hand the ball off or something. So we, uh, we're we going to Dallas. I think it was in uh, probably back in 78 or 79, something like that. Anyway, uh, we're going into the game. And, and first of all, that was when Billy Kilmer was quarterbacking. Billy went down. He got hit in the face, knocked out some teeth, and he was out. Joe Theismann went in, and he was playing. Everything was fine. But about halfway through the, the fourth quarter, Joe gets knocked out. Mm. If you can imagine, if Joe gets knocked out. I'm in. I'm over <laughs> on the sideline. But get, this is what was going on all through this game because I've been bragging about being a quarterback in the NFL. I've been bragging to all my friends, and they were up there in about the 50th row, up almost to the very top of the thing. And they, all day long, they were hollering, we want Mosley. <laughs> all day long they were hollering oh at well you know to make it look good I started throwing the ball on the sideline like I was warming up <laughs> <laughs> really kind of rub it in because I knew there's probably no way in the world but I, then I got to thinking well gosh there's nobody else here but me so I may have to go in well coach Allen called me over he says Mosley come here so I go over and uh, coach George Allen was our coach was a, he was a, a great coach he brings me calls me over he says come here Mose puts his arm around me and he says now Mark, he says, I want you to go up there and stand and find out what those guys want. Okay, you suppose that's a joke, folks. You're supposed to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to go up there. That was the closest I got into the game. In 1970, I was drafted by the Philadelphia Eagles. I played, I played with the Eagles one year, and then they cut me, let me go. And then I ended up going to Houston, playing with the Houston Oilers for one year. And then I got released after the first game. For some reason, I'm not, I haven't figured that out yet. And then I set out for two years. I didn't play all of 72 or 73 because nobody would even return a phone call. It's kind of kind of a lonely time for me. But I never lost the faith. I kept working. My wife and I were both had jobs. Uh, every afternoon, I'd go out and, and work out and kick balls and run up and down. And she's, she swears the reason she couldn't have children until she was in her mid-30s is because I used to carry her on my back and run up and down the stands and up and down the football field carrying her on my back. And But we, uh, you know, we ended up, we have we have three wonderful children ourselves. And, and uh, like I said, I have nine, I have five of my own, and, and uh, I have four that are my stepchildren and that I've had since they were little. And then I have one daughter that we uh, brought into the family when she was seven. And she just graduated. So I hope you guys all enjoyed that. It was really cool getting to meet him. He was a really nice guy, and it was really awesome for him to come take time out of his day to speak with us. And guys, I have some news also. Some of you guys may already know this. This year, after all the years of hating the Washington football team slash Redskins, I promised my best friends that I will root for them this year. Not over the Steelers, obviously, but, you know, I'm, I'm hoping they win their division and I'm going to root for them over the Cowboys. So with that being said, go Steelers, number one, and then go Washington football team. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Catch you guys next time on Get Real Vlogs, where my only talent is being controversial. Peace out, guys.